Hi, welcome to Shabby Pug Yarn Podcast, uh, a podcast about crafting, mostly anything. Um, so today I'm recording from a very gloomy uh, Norway, where I live. I'm a Swede, my name is Emma, <laughs> perhaps I should start with that. Uh, so yeah, it's a very gloomy day, so there is this big weather, they have named it uh, Hans. Uh, which um, makes it rain a lot uh, with thunder and things. Uh, we have been very fortunate so far with only like a little bit more rain than usual. But our house is safe, or the roads are okay where I live. So under the circumstances, it's really okay. But since the rain is pouring down, I can't sit outside where I usually record. Uh, so. The, I tried to sit uh, where I had two windows, so hopefully I will have enough light even though it's like, I don't know, quarter past six in the morning. So my early time, my quiet time for the day, I have now before the kids wake up. So I thought I wanted to spend it with you and share what I have been up to since uh, I last recorded. So yeah. Perhaps I should start uh, with the knitting uh, and the only finished object I have, uh, I don't have with me anymore. Um, because the last week of kindergarten, uh, before vacation, um, we found out that uh, one of uh, my son's uh, favorite teachers is... Uh, have gotten a new job from this autumn uh, and we really wanted to give uh, the teacher something as a, as a gift for as a thank you for all the help and support we have gotten uh, because this teacher started at uh, the small kids department uh, when Hugo was like one and a half two years old and then moved to older kids department when Hugo moves up when he turned three and has been with him all the way. So we wanted to show our appreciation and love. So I made her a pair of mittens. I can post a picture of it. Uh, it's the Speedy Spunny mittens by Skeindir. Um So I knit them over the weekend and we picked up some uh, photos and my son even wrote uh, a very cute poem on the back of the photo uh, as a gift so and we gave it uh, to her and she was really really happy about it so that felt really really nice so yeah but that feels like an eternity ago since I have been on vacation for three weeks so yeah but that's the only finished thing uh, so if you have been here before, that's a hint that I haven't been knitting on the projects I showed you last time. Uh, I have two two new whips, which are the ones I have been working on. Um, so, directly after I uh, fin cast off the first uh, spunny mittens, I started a new pair. So, this is the same yarn I didn't mention. <laughs> Uh, it's the same yarn for both, so this, uh, this one is just inverted from the earlier pair. Uh, so I'm using uh, Roma Vams. Uh, so it's uh, Norwegian wool. Um, it's 83 meters per 50 grams, so almost 170. Uh, per 100 grams, so it's a quite thick yarn. It's uh, a really nice one for thicker garments and mittens and stuff, and I really enjoy it. So I have this this purple, it's number 12, and this lilac, which is uh, <laughs> trying to make it focus on the yarn. Yeah, there, the lilac is 102. So this is the first mitten of my second pair. 
um, my plan is uh, to make mittens for all the teachers at the kindergarten since um, Tova will have her last Christmas at the small kids uh, department so the teachers that she has in the small kids um, place uh, will need a gift, Christmas gift right and Hugo will have his last Christmas at the kindergarten uh, this year so the teachers uh, in his department should also get Christmas gifts so you will if I can manage to go through all of this you will see a lot of mittens I'm not planning to make just uh, the spunny uh, but perhaps the um, speedy celebu also by skin there uh, and perhaps someone else's do you think I can manage it it will be I don't know six pairs seven pairs six pairs so more than the one I have already made do you think I can manage it before Christmas <laughs> we shall see we shall see you can help me you can ask me if you if I haven't talked about it for a while you can ask me hey how is those mittens going so yeah and the other work in pro progress uh, is also a new one I had planned to work on my look at my holes and the dinosaur sweater for Hugo um, but then uh, Katarina of Hagenhuset uh, threw out oh, sorry my needles are clicking everywhere um, she just before my vacation in July she released um, uh, a test call test knitting call for uh, the granite cardigan uh, and I have been eyeing out this cardigan for like a year since I saw her first uh, first one so I threw myself at it and uh, luckily for me I have uh, or luckily yeah, I have quite a big uh, chest size and I'm quite broad so I need a, quite a big size and usually those sizes aren't filled up as quickly <laughs> so luckily for me I was uh, accepted to the test call uh, and I can't finish it I haven't finished it so because we aren't allowed to show the finished object but uh, I'm working on the first sleeve and I have bottom bands and everything so it's a, a V V neck cardigan um, so I will show it more properly next time slightly cropped uh, I have tried it on and it looks amazing so I just wanted to show you that I have been knitting this is my vacation knitting it wasn't the vacation knitting I planned uh, but this is the one that I ended up with um, the yarn sorry about the needles clinking uh, let's see this is the yarn uh, so it's from Hilletog another Norwegian uh, yarn um, place or mill so it's uh, lamb's wool well, I don't know why you focus on my hair but yeah um, vidde is a uh, lamb's wool uh, yarn so it's uh, the same uh, thickness as uh, Hilles Vogs um, Varde which is a pelt wool and, and is it called Luna the newer one I'm not sure but they are like easily to swap in between so this is the natural grey uh, lamb's wool and I I really like it it's uh, it's not like the softest softest but it's lamb's wool and um, I could I could even have it like a turtleneck because it's so squishy at least as long as I'm cold if I'm sweaty everything itches so uh, so that's what I have been working on knitwise, and I should probably then go to the Tour de Fleece uh, wrap up. I had a plan to record during Tour de Fleece and um, everything, but then uh, in the, like the last week of Tour de Fleece, we had to had to, but we chose to drive to Sweden to my husband's family um, and meet our friends who lives in the area and such and you know or maybe you don't know but if you need to travel with kids at least if you're staying away for like seven ten days uh, you need a lot of things 
and especially if you're going to an island where you can't buy like all the things you need so all the things like safety vests for being near the ocean and fishing gear and for the kids uh, and food and clothing and like everything you need you need to bring uh, because it's not uh, easy to go back to the mainland to shop so I had to prioritize and my spinning wheel didn't make it uh, but when I came home I had like two days left of Tour of the Fleece so I spun like crazy so this is my my finished uh, make for Tour of the Fleece uh, two bobbins of my bat so it's 100 grams on this and 100 grams on this um, and I really really enjoyed uh, spinning the singles up at least um, so I can perhaps put one down so it's mostly lilac with some white silk and then there is some orange on the inside i don't think you can see it there are some uh, orange streaks and then you have the nips uh, that are light lilac dark purple and orange so yeah the um, the wool the bat got from uh, maruchi fibers um, and i'm planning to uh, take these two single plies and ply them together uh, I don't know what to make with it but it's it's really a color scheme that I have been falling very hard for uh, like the lilac light purple uh, with a bright like carrot <laughs> orange uh, I don't know why if it's like the 90s child in me or something I don't know uh, but yeah I'm um, uh, I'm really happy that I actually managed to spin, even though I had like 50% of Tour de Fleece was without the spinning wheel. And I didn't uh, had like the energy to pick up like a spindle project. So yeah, that's really what it is. But I will show you the yarn when I'm finished with it. But since I have, uh, I have one secret test knit that I'm working on um, and the test knit that I need to finish up. Um, I think I will have to wait with uh, bringing up the spinning wheel until I'm done with the, my uh, the things I have signed up for. Um, so yeah, um, uh, what was I going to say? It's so nice when it rains outside. I really love it. Since I'm not in a danger and my house is not in danger, I can just enjoy like the sound of uh, the rain on my roof i have like where well, i usually sit outside here if you can see the roof uh, so i sit out there with a cup of tea and listen to the rain when i have my quiet mornings i haven't had quiet mornings in a while uh, because somehow my kids have decided that they need like four hours less sleep than they actually need for a while so it has been uh, a challenge this uh, vacation uh, moms don't have vacation they just have another job to do right um, but finally today they are still sleeping so thumbs up for me having to able to talk to you that's nice right um, so that's my like works in pro, pro works in progress and my finished object and the spinning and then I have some uh, yarn to show um, I know some people doesn't like um, seeing like what other people buy um, and I totally understand that sometimes when uh, like when I can't buy yarn for myself sometimes I feel like ah, I don't want to see what you buy but mostly I'm very happy for the person who has abilities to buy yarn and so I figured if you don't like it you can just skip uh, this and uh, perhaps come back when if I do some small talking in the end uh, otherwise we can see next see each other next time I record um, but yeah, I uh, I have got some yarn on sale. Uh, my local Husfliden uh, has a lot of uh, Hillesvog yarn, 
so I was there uh, to I don't remember why I just snuck in when I was at the shopping center and I I always check the sales uh, they had like a big box with the sales things uh, and I got some yarn um, this lovely green um, I have four skeins uh, my plan because I, I don't buy yarn without a plan right um, my plan is to uh, knit up a swatch and try to felt it and do some uh, use uh, there's a, like a recipe book from um, uh, Tant Kofta, a Swedish uh, yarn dyer and like in between pattern designer. I made her round blankets a couple of years ago, two of them, um, and she have like a recipe for making uh, like a jacket uh, that you you knit it bigger and then you um, felt it in the machine purposely. Uh, purposefully uh, and yeah uh, to avoid using like a plastic fleece jacket um, and my at least my son is a very warm person so even like in the very late autumn he doesn't want to use like thick garments so I'm thinking to use uh, this so it's also from Hillesvog uh, it's called Sölje so this is the thinner uh, pelt wool version so it's a sport weight I think let's see I don't I don't remember everything uh, yeah it's 350 meters on 100 grams so this is the grass green it's uh, if you want to know the color it's called 642134 uh, grass green grass green so yeah I got some of these gains on sale I guess they are like if the color is not going to be in like the next next season or something uh, and then I couldn't uh, stop myself I have more skeins of this uh, this is the gray violet um, color also Sölje from Hillesborg um, so if this color isn't going to exist anymore I need a lot of it so I bought um, like 10 skeins of this um, it was like a, a splurge, uh, but now I have like I can make sweat like two sweaters for me and one for my daughter, perhaps or something. Or yeah, I can hold it double. I can hold it with my hair, mohair or um, alpaca or something, or just by itself. Or I can do color work. I have like some single skeins laying around, so it's a very versatile yarn and. This is probably my favorite color, so yeah, and that's uh, like the big splurge. And then um, I, my son had like a, he did like a wish for Christmas, um, but I took it very seriously. Uh, so you would probably laugh a bit because I got some yarn for a Christmas gift. Um, the baby baby snuggle yarn in these colors. Uh, so this is um, color number two. I think it was called cream. And this is color number one. It's white. And then we have this that is color 16. I think it was called Prussian blue. I'm not sure. Um, if you have been here before, I crocheted a dragon blanket and I wasn't like a big fan of uh, crocheting uh, with this at the beginning but I got used to it and it was fine um, it's 120 meters on 100 grams so it's quite thick recommended needle size is six millimeter or six and a half for knitting six millimeter for crocheting um, so yeah, it's from a hobby. I'm not sponsored. I just um, got the yarn because I knew that my son likes it. He uh, requested for a crocheted um, Snorlax. Uh, he is 
uh, quite into Pokemon. We have been watching it a bit and we have playing Pokemon Go to like uh, motivate us to go outside even when the weather is boring. So he really enjoys playing Pokemon Go. And he said, oh, mom, I would love to have a big Snorlax to uh, snuggle with. And since I'm a sucker for <laughs> making things that my kids want, I got some yarn. So I have a lot of uh, this one and I hope I can buy more if I'm not being able to finish it uh, with the ones I got. So I have uh, a Pokemon crochet book. Um, I, don't, I think it's upstairs where the kids are sleeping, so I can't get it right now. But I have, um, I got that um, one of our nerdy game, uh, board game and book and manga stores. Um, they had uh, crochet uh, Pokemon books, so I got one, and Snorlax is in there. But it's actually like made for being this size. But I think that if I use like a really thick yarn, I can hopefully make it big and snugly. So it's kind of an experiment. I haven't crocheted that much, but I'm. Uh, I think that I just have to try because uh, I think he would love it if he would get a really big Snorlax for Christmas. So. Stay tuned for my upcoming projects. And since I have not have a lot of crafting time, it's good to have like five months to make it. And the green felted sweater, I'm not certain if I will be able to finish it for this year. Perhaps if I take the two strands of yarn, it would go quicker. I have to think about it. But yeah. Um, I think that was all. Yeah, that's all of my acquisitions and things. So, yeah. Um, this is my last vacation week. It has been raining or being like semi uh, cold weather oh, almost all my vacation. And it's, it's actually, it's fine. Um, we have still been managing to do fun things. Um, mm, we were, like I said, traveling to my my husband's family and miss visiting our friends for a while. And then we were home for a couple of days. And then I took the kids to my parents and we went uh, fishing and they actually managed to do some swimming. Um, and he was uh, practicing on uh, having a bicycle. Because he got a bicycle for his fifth um, birthday, so it was really nice. Uh, and yeah, just he slept in a tent in the garden, but because it was not uh, a nice weather. But anyways, it was uh, really nice for both the kids to be able to sleep in a tent. They had never, never done that before, so we have lots of a lot of things happening this summer, uh, even though it has been cloudy and rainy. Um, I don't feel like uh, I want to go back to work just yet. Um, but the autumn and routines are nice. Uh, and I have signed up yoga for a swimming school uh, after the kindergarten and after work for me. So I had to pick him up and do that. And he's really looking forward to it. So. We will have a lot of things to do and hopefully I can have some knitting time for that half an hour that he's swimming uh, every week during the autumn and winter. But we'll see. Um, how are you doing? Do you Are you back to work already or uh, are you still in vacation mode like me? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think it's really nice when I get like the comments uh, in the doobly -doo, or not the doobly -doo, the comment section thingy. Um, it makes me happy to see that there are some people who have uh, who are watching, even though I'm very inconsistent in and I haven't been posting for years. Uh, it really makes me happy. So 
yeah, that, I think that's about it. Uh, oh yeah, one thing more. It's a uh, way ahead, but I think I should mention it in case I have any like Swedish or uh, Norwegian uh, living um, or Norwegians um, watching. I believe like perhaps half of you are uh, Scandinavian. Uh, are some of you coming to the Stitcherama uh, Knit Yarn Festival in uh, October? Uh, it's very close to where I live. So I'm going and my mother is uh, taking uh, taking a day off to travel here so she can come too. Uh, so I will be there. Um, we will see if I have to bring one of the kids or not. But I'm going and my mother is going. Um, I'm really looking forward to it even though it's in October. But time flies so soon I will be there. Um, but if you're going, please let me know. So I can say hi to you because that would be really nice. Um, I have been told before that I really have like this tunnel uh, vision face when I'm uh, yarn shopping. So just tap me on my shoulder and say hi if, you, if you're meeting me. But uh, as I said, that's in October. So uh, hopefully uh, I will be here a lot of uh, times before then. Um, but I just thought I should mention it if uh, anyone is going. And knows they're going. Um, so yeah. I think I should just uh, start my day. Now I've been here for almost half an hour I think. Um, so I will start preparing for a busy day with the kids. Uh, since it's raining I have to figure out some activities inside. So probably some Legos or perhaps baking a bit. We'll see. Uh, but I hope that you have a great uh, day. Um, take care uh, wherever you are if you're in like Sweden and Norway and or like the northern parts of Europe where there is a lot of rain be very careful um, and yeah just take care uh, hope you will have a nice time until we see each other next uh, hopefully I can be back here in a couple of weeks if my kids decide to sleep in on a Saturday or Sunday uh, so I can record because I need the light and I need the quiet. So yeah, that was all for now. Thanks. Bye.